name is Scott Bright. Today I'm going to show you how to install a moose into a tire and the tire onto the rim. It's a really simple process. Don't need to spend lots of money and fancy crazy tools. Really all you need is a ground floor based tire changing stand. You can get those for about 50 bucks. Zip tie tire irons, those are about 25 bucks a piece. And a two pound sledge. Uh, that's really all you need. So first thing I do when I'm installing a moose is I use silicone based moose lube. The reason I insist on silicone lube is because it will not wash out in water. Uh, you can use a soap based lube if you plan on changing your uh, mooses and tires every time you ride and you can re-lube that moose every time. Uh, if, you, if you don't re-lube with soap uh, every time you ride, the moose will uh, get hot, the soapy soap will uh, wash out. So. I like silicone, doesn't wash out. So the first thing I do is I use a full tube on each moose. So one full tube per moose. I put one fourth of the tube onto the moose. I put the remaining three fourths of the tube into the tire. So, uh, so the moose loop does not scrape off of the moose as I'm trying to put the moose into the tire. So here we go. One fourth of the tube onto the moose and the remaining three-fourths in very random fashion all around inside the tire. The reason I uh, don't care a ton about where that moose lube is at is after you've ridden your bike about a mile that moose lube is going to find its way all around. So, next thing I do is I spread this lubrication all over the moose. Just want a nice thin film of moose lube all over the moose. So, just rubbing it all the way around. Like so. Make sure it's nice and perfect. It's got a nice thin film of lubrication all over it. Next thing I do, set it on the tire and shove it in at 12 o'clock. Spin the tire, push it in, spin the tire, push it in, spin the tire. It in, spin, push until the entire moose is all the way in the tire. Take my rubber gloves off, my work gloves on. Okay, I will put the sprocket side down for no other reason than it saves my fingers. Rim lock is loose, goes at six o'clock, six o'clock, 12 o'clock. Hook the bottom bead underneath the rim lock and I hold it there with my knee. Got my first tire iron, come to about here, hook it over. About 12 o'clock, hook it over. Hold it with my hand. 11 o'clock, hook it over. 10 o'clock, hook it over. You can hear the bottom bead drop. Next thing I do is I just push that moose down to the center of the rim. I go about four spokes away from the rim lock. Put a tire iron in, hook it under my knee. Next tire iron goes about four spokes away. Pull it over until the bead drops in. Four spokes away. Pull it over. Four spokes away. Hold it. Four spokes. Hold it. Four spokes. Three spokes. When it starts getting tight. 
two spokes. As soon as that uh, gets difficult, I come back over here and I drop this part of the bead down into the center of the rim. If it doesn't want to go, it means I need a little bit more tension. So I come back over here, one spoke, come back, try it again. There it dropped. Okay, so now I can finish up. One spoke, and now I'm left with just a gap above the rim lock. I grab this Motion Pro tire tool, put it in here like this, push that rim lock in, take my last tire iron, Get it in place, push the rim lock, and hold it over. Sometimes it needs a little bit of encouragement. 